So go up here and if you see the tool I'm hovering over now, the solid rectangle or solid square, click that once, then click on the texture. And as you can see, it beautifully blends it right into the terrain surrounding it. So you can do that to, it removes not only jagged edges, but it also uh, makes, makes it blend in a lot better. It makes it look uh, more professional. Uh, the texture I chose in this case was obviously not the greatest, but, uh, but it's definitely a, a great tool to use. So that's pretty much all that there is to using the editor there. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go over uh, getting the map in game. So go to uh, first go once you uh, have all the textures and everything uh, situated correctly. Uh, click file and then go to save as. Then type in your map name. Make sure you have user maps selected. For mine I'll just type in sample map. Click OK and then also go to edit and then click edit map settings as I do here. You can also type in the map name up here as I'll do. Then you can type in a description down here if you want. Click OK and then you can resave to make sure that's saved and that's pretty much all you gotta do so the map will now show up in game. Both player starts should be active and the map should be functional and playable. So uh, this is what it should look like in game. Building. Building. Construction complete. 